Welcome to the Educational Tools video. My name is Daniela Gil and I'm going to introduce you to the competence frameworks of the eSchool Gardens for Future Citizens. The topics in this tutorial are an introduction to the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals and the Education 2030 Agenda, a brief presentation of the learning objectives of Education for Sustainable Development, a general description of the European Framework for Digital Competence and finally a summary of the main ideas. In 2015, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. It was produced following the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development in Rio de Janeiro in 2012. This was a three-year process involving United Nations member states and service engaging millions of people and thousands of stakeholders all over the world. The aim of the 17 SDGs is to secure a sustainable, peaceful, prosperous and equitable life on Earth for everyone, now and in the future. The goals address global challenges that are crucial for humanity's survival. They address a range of social issues including education, health, social protection and job opportunities while tackling climate change and environmental protection. They also recognize that ending poverty must go hand in hand with strategies that build economic development. Education for SDGs can develop cross-cutting competencies and specific learning outcomes focused on a particular SDG. The guide organize, organizes sorry, the learning objectives into three blocks or domains. The cognitive, the social-emotional and the behavioural. The cognitive domain comprises knowledge and thinking skills necessary to better understand the SDG and its challenges. The, social, the socio-emotional domain includes social skills that enable learners to collaborate, negotiate and communicate to promote the SDGs as well as self-reflection skills, values, attitudes and motivations that enable learners to develop and the behavioural domain describes action competences. One example of how to apply the SDGs in the school context is recycling. This can be connected with objectives such as being responsible for the environmental and social impacts of our own lifestyles, learning about sustainable production and consumption, being able to communicate the need for sustainable production and consumption, understanding which human activities most contribute to climate change, and recognizing that protecting the global climate is an essential task for all of us, meaning we need to completely re-evaluate our worldview and everyday behavior. The Joint Research Center, the European Commission's Science and Knowledge Service, started to develop the European Framework for Digital Competence in 2010. From its earliest version, Digcom 1.0, it, it has developed to become a reference framework for understanding what it means to be digitally competent in Europe. Digcom 2.0 updated their terminology and conceptual model and also introduced many implementation, implementation sorry, examples. The eSchool Garden project can be used to develop digital competencies whenever tasks include or require the use of tools for telecollaboration to produce learning products or to retrieve information for the internet, etc to support work or decision-making process in the garden and finally to code and implement new ad hoc tools such as sensors or apps for monitoring. 
These are only general ideas on how to apply technology in the context of our gardens. In detail, firstly, activities such as collaborative protection of learning resources can be defined as a task chain will, which uh, starts with acquiring new information or knowledge, classifying it, analyzing it for a deep understanding and finally managing information itself to make it useful to others as well as managing digi digital tools to host and present it. Secondly, activities must be directly related to garden care. These activities will take place in parallel with curricular activity, but also take into account seasons, weather and other environmental conditions. Digital tasks are based on the retrieval of information about gardening, for example. In this way, cooperative tasks aim to produce reliable and useful information for garden planning and care, recycling and agro-instrumentation. Finally, we can take a step forward and use the technology as a support in our gardens to observe and manage them. A way to connect environmental care and science, technology and industry is by developing a gardening system to observe the garden and help in the decision-making process when it comes to water consumption for irrigation and composting or harvesting, among other things. Students learn to care for and respect the environment through activities that put them in contact with the garden, in parallel with any other subject, including the development of digital tools to observe the garden with digital eyes and manage information, etc. To sum up, eSchool Garden is an example of how to educate students to become future good citizens. It improves awareness of the SDGs, develops digital competencies and puts competence adaptation into practice. That is, it follows the educational principle of learning by doing. Thank you very much for your attention.